thing on Christmas Eve too oh never mind I know exactly who every engine on Sodor liked Christmas a lot but Diesel 10 who lived at the diesel works did not the treatment us diesels receive around Christmas time is absolutely unfair Left to sit in the cold without fireboxes to keep us warm. The steam engine stations getting decorations, while our diesel works is left with hardly a tree or blinking light. The preferential privilege those steamers have is absolutely disgusting. But fear not, for I have a plan. I... Um, Diesel 10? Yes, Paxton. We, um... Do actually have the same decorations as the steam engines. You're buying into the lie. The same box of decorations was sent to every station. <laughs> I should know. I delivered ours. I think we even got decorations that other stations didn't. I haven't seen our snowman anywhere else. You simpletons are appeased by a mere snowman! It's the principle! Steam engines have been treated far better than diesel engines the entire time I have lived on this island. And inactive sheep like you are the reason this problem exists! But, like I said, I have a plan. I propose that this year, us Diesels steal Christmas. We take all the decorations and presents from every station, and then we can get what we finally deserve. <laughs> Happy Hook, stop messing with the lights, man. steel decorations before Diesel 10. I don't think Sir Topham Hat was very happy when you did that. I don't care if the fat controller is happy. I... Besides, I'm pretty sure I read about a plan just like that in a book once. Not particularly creative, really. You're all talk, man. You talk, you talk, and talk, and talk. But you never do. I mean, I don't do either. But I also don't talk, so... Yeah. You insolent little turn! What do you want? Need you to pick up some paint wagons from Vickerstown. Get to it. Why can't Den do it? Or Dart? Or any of these idiots here? I have plans to coordinate. <sighs> oh yeah? You in what army? Fine. Where are those two? They're dirt sisters. They spend every Christmas there. And they do back out show them not to abandon their jobs. I don't know why this is so surprising to you. Blah! Quite right, Pinchy. How quickly they forget what I've done for them when I'm the one in need of help. 
ungrateful cretins. Oh no! Where's the blasted good yard here? I don't want to set a wheel here any longer than I have to. Diesel Town! Hey, Diesel Town! <sighs> Care to explain why you knocked over my tree? It's going to be hard to find another one, especially on Christmas Eve. And what proof do you have that I did that? Ornaments are still falling out of Pinchy's teeth. Whatever. You steamers get far better treatments around Christmas anyway. I'm just evening the score. We don't get any better treatment. We're also Topham Hat's engine, Diesel 10. You'd be more than welcome to all the railway's festivities if you stop ruining the Christmas spirit for no good reason. It brings everyone down. Why are you so insistent on being hateful? Christmas is a time to come together, not resent one another. A Christmas tree is one of the best parts of Christmas. It's a place we can all- Save me your platitudes and show me where the yard is. Just keep following the track. The points are already set. Good. At least you're not inconveniencing me that way. <sighs> Don't let him bother you. It's Christmas. Mm, you know what? I think you just hate Christmas because nobody wants to spend it with you. I always feel sorry for you. Kettles. Every year around Christmas, they love acting like I'm such a sad soul. Like all I need is a little friendship. <laughs> I don't need that pity, and I don't need friends. I'm perfection. Ten out of ten for brutal strength and devious cunning. Those steamies will be nothing but useless scrap by the time I'm done with them. And the diesels too. Insubordinate twerps. I am the only one who can lead Seldor into a brighter future for diesels and diesels alone. And the only thanks I get is them telling me, You tried to steal Christmas before Diesel 10. I read it in the book Diesel 10. Every year it's the same thing. Just pity and friendship. Pity, friendship, pity, friendship. I hate it all. I don't need a good reason. If I could, I'd destroy the entire Christmas season! And the longer he thought of the Christmassy sting, the more Diesel thought. I must stop this whole thing! Why, for too many years I've put up with it now. I must stop Christmas from coming. But how? What are you two doing? Well, we got told to drop these trucks off at Vickerstown, so we brought them to Vickerstown, and now they're at Vickerstown! You really like saying the word Vickerstown? It's a fun word! Vickerstown. <laughs> you try. Vickerstown. Oh, okay, I was totally wrong. This is more fun than anything I have ever experienced. I know, right? Guys! The goods yard is the other way. You're blocking the platform. Please move. You've already delayed the express five minutes. Hmm. Oh, why didn't you say so? Yeah, we would have just skedaddled if you asked nicely. <sighs> oh, you got it, boss. We're moving. We're moving. Yep, truck straight to the goods yard. We know the drill, boss. We are on it. Other, other way. Uh, whoops. We knew that the entire time.
Oh, sorry. Won't bother again, boss. We're going. Yep. Bye. Those two shunters seem to take orders pretty well. Then he got an idea. An awful idea. Diesel 10 got a wonderful, awful idea. I don't see why that steamer got so upset with us. Vickerstown Yard, Vickerstown Station, it was an honest mistake! Yeah, nothing to get that upset over. Those sonar engines are such perfectionists. <laughs> the guys at Bridlington don't tell us how to do our jobs all the time. Uh, except when we screw up, which is... Which is a lot, yeah. But uh, we try our best, and that's all that should count, right? I think we deserve at least an A for effort. Oh, shoot, we're getting a grade on this? Gent. We don't want to buy anything. We paid our taxes, I swear. I'm not here for any trouble. Just here to extend an olive branch of... friendship. What are your names? Well, uh, I'm Splatter, and his name is... Dodge. I can introduce myself, Splatter. I know! Ahem. <clears throat> My name is... My eyes are down here. Oh, wow, I didn't even see that. I really thought he was the claw the whole time. Do you do ventriloquism? You'd probably be really good. My name is Diesel 10, and I have a job for you, Splodge. Actually, uh, it's Splatter. A and Dodge. I don't have time to say both names. Okay, fine. Sp uh, Splodge is great. Yeah, we love Splodge. Nice and snappy. Yeah, love it. Shush! Splodge. As you may have noticed, the stations inhabited by steam engines on this island have far more Christmas decorations than those inhabited by diesels. This treatment is unfair. I need your help to make this right. Tonight, as the steamers of Seoul sleep soundly in their sheds, I plan to travel to every station on the island remove its decorations and presents, and pack them into sacks on a long train. When I've stripped the island bare of its Christmas bubbles, I'll toss them off the top of the hill and destroy Christmas! <laughs> uh, destroy? Did, did you say destroy? The D word? Uh, like hurt? I don't know if we're on board with hurting anybody. Aren't you too sick of being ordered around by those high and mighty kettles? The ones who have never done a day of proper work in their lives, getting pampered and spoiled for the simple fact of being relics of a bygone era. The ones who tell you what to do day in and day out when you're the one doing the real hard work. Don't you want a chance to put them in their place? That's a plan I can get behind. Yeah, yeah. Petty revenge always goes well. Well, what are we waiting for? Shall we head to the diesel works? We've got a lot of work to do. Splodge. We got the trucks you wanted, boss. Yep. Straight from the flour mill, full of sacks. Excellent work, Splodge. I... Wait. You've got them full. Did I not specifically tell you the trucks had to be empty? What am I supposed to do with full trucks of flour? They didn't have empty ones. Yeah, but we got you the full ones so you can empty them yourself. It shouldn't take that long, right, boss? It's a minor setback. Minor! Do you dancers have any idea how long this is going to take? <laughs> oh, goodness me! I didn't realize it was supposed to snow. Uh, boss? How does the paint fit into the plan? Ugh. It's not a part of the plan. 
I just had to get it because the diesels who actually do that job decided to take a holiday. But it's red? <laughs> Christmas colors, it fits into the plan perfectly. Oh, yeah, we just need some white trim, and then the red will be perfect! Perfect for what? With that coat and a hat, you'll look just like Saint Nick. Why would I want to do that? Is dressing up as Santa not part of the thing? I thought we were following the thing. It lets you be sneaky on Christmas Eve. Nobody suspects a thing if they see Santa Claus running about with trucks of presents. It's camouflage. Yeah, camouflage, boss. That is the stupidest idea I have ever heard. Well, I don't see you having a backup plan. Yeah, what if you wake some engine up, huh, boss? Way easier to explain Santa Claus being there than a big diesel with a claw, that's all I'm saying. Hey, and if we're helping out, maybe we could be your reindeer. Even better cover story. You simpletons look absolutely nothing like reindeer. Nobody is going to fall for that. Oh, well, what are you supposed to do if you get caught in the middle of the night? R run away? That's quitting. Q word. Not good. Fine. I'll be painted up as Santa Claus. Just for you, Splodge. Breathe in this thing. Did... Did you not get painted to look like reindeer? Were we supposed to? You... It was your suggestion that I get painted in this ridiculous livery in the first place. I thought this was supposed to be a cover story. Yeah, we, we suggested you be Santa as a cover story, that's right. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. You also told us to get repainted. So, ta-da! We got repainted! Uh, what does that have to do with us being reindeer, though? That's why I agreed to do it, you morons! You're supposed to get painted to be reindeer! Reindeer aren't purple and... and... Uh... Well, you know, I call it Dark Chartreuse. Reindeer aren't Dark Chartreuse! Whatever, it's dark. Just head to the front of the train and don't screw up. You got it, boss. Yeah, eyes on the prize, boss. Laser focus. Gotta say, Dodge, I like this Diesel 10 guy, but he's a little bit, uh, aggressive. Yeah, why do they call him that anyway? Being at a 10 in intensity at all times? <gasps> Splatter! What if this is banter? Uh, friendship banter! Like all the other shunters have! You really think so? Be quiet! I'm trying to be still, so shut up! I do think so. All the windows were dark. Nobody knew he was there. All the engines were dreaming sweet dreams, without a care. Diesel slithered and slunk with a smile most unpleasant. Around the whole island, he took every present. You're a mean one, Diesel 10 Your soul's as black as oil You're a freak of engineering You're the railway's own gargoyle, Diesel 10 Your paint looks like a tray of fruit that has 
has been left out to spoil. Just face the music, you're a monster. Diesel 10, yes you are. Your hearts are a spill of gap. The smile is my pleasure. Your clothes full of scrap. Diesel 10. What do we do? She'll see us! Shh! Hurry up and get rid of the train. <sighs> Santa Claus? Uh, hello, my dear. Don't mind me just dropping off some presents for Christmas morning. Go back to sleep. Ho, ho, ho. Good job, boss. You're nailing it. Shh! Why? Why are you taking my Christmas tree? Uh, oh this. There's a broken light on your tree that won't light up, you see. So I'm going to take it back to my workshop and fix it and bring it back. Just let me put it in my sleigh. Oh, okay. Comet? Cupid? Well or something like that. That'd be really nice. I mean, that's all well. I feel like reindeer. Stay. Oh, oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. I mean, uh, uh reindeer noises. Reindeer noises. Uh, wolf. Meow. Moo. <laughs> Whatever. And here is a present for you to open Christmas morning, my dear. You don't want to be awake too early, do you? Thank you, Mr. Claus. Merry Christmas. Don't you dare go soft on me, Pinchy. That was a close one, boss. Yeah, bullet dodged. Oh, like your name, that's clever. Time for the grand finale. It was a quarter of dawn. All the engines are shed. All the engines are snooze. Diesel packed up his sled. Before Sir Topham Hatt would eat one morning crumpet, he rode with his load to the hilltop to dump it. Boss, are you sure we can make it up there? Yeah, it looks pretty steep. Stop complaining and pull.
Uh, boss? This train seems a little heavy. We can't keep it under control. There's going to be a crash. facial. Are you kidding me? Boss! Are you alright? Do you have health insurance? Oh, of course he has health insurance, silly. This episode takes place in the United Kingdom. I'm for... fine. You're the ones who'll be fine when I sick pinch on you. Sun's coming up. No, no, no! You imbeciles are the only ones who can possibly salvage this plan. So listen to me and listen good. Take the trucks to Tidmouth Harbour as fast as you can, dump them in the sea, and bail. If I'm to suffer like this, those steamers can't have Christmas. Destroy it all! You got it, boss. You can count on us! We're very reliable. Go! Yep! yep. <gasps> the decorations! Someone took them! They're gone! How are we supposed to have Christmas without decorations? Don't worry, everyone. Whatever happened to them, it's still Christmas. We have each other. That's what it's all about. Come on, the boss is counting on us. Yeah, we've got to get these two- The decorations! Yeah. And presents! They're all in those trucks. Did Sir Topham Hat send you to bring us new decorations and presents after the old ones blew away last night? Yeah. Yes, 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 absolutely, yep, yeah, definitely, yeah, that yeah. is absolutely why we're here. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> Den and Darter wait till after New Year's, so it looks like you're gonna be stuck like this for a while, Santa Claus. <laughs> Hopefully I'm the only Santa Claus on this island right now. <laughs> Good morning, Diesel Ted. Merry Christmas. What? I destroyed Christmas. Really? I woke up this morning and my station looked beautifully decorated. I even found a present on my running board from Santa Claus himself. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not going to tell. Seems like your dents taught you enough of a lesson. So, Christmas came, but how? Christmas.
Christmas always comes, Diesel Ten. That's why it's every year. Merry Christmas, Diesel Ten. Enjoy your present. Present? What present? <laughs> You'll know. <laughs> he hadn't stopped Christmas from coming. It came. Somehow or other, it came just the same. And Diesel Ten, finally out of the snow, stood puzzling and puzzling. How could it be so? It came without ribbons. It came without tags. It came without packages, boxes, or bags. He puzzled and puzzled till his puzzler was sore. Then Diesel Ten thought of something he hadn't before. Maybe Christmas really doesn't come from a store. Maybe Christmas, perhaps, means a little bit more. Boss, boss, we have good news. We're staying. What? Okay, okay. So we were gonna dump all the presents at the harbor, like you said. But we had to pass by the sheds to do it. Steamer sent right. And when we passed, they happened to be awake, and they were like, "Are oh, those our presents and decorations?" And then we were like, "Yes," because I mean, what were we were supposed to do? Lie. So then we gave them all back, and guess what? They loved us. Yeah, we hung around for hours. We sang carols, told stories. That James guy, surprisingly. Really good at charades. We never got it that good in Bringlington. I mean, come on, Bringlington was awful. Absolutely awful. We got bullied, cyber bullied, harassed, harangued, the whole nine yards. So we're going to stay. We had an amazing Christmas and we have you to thank for it, boss. Uh, boss? You okay? You look kind of mad or something. You gave them back? Yeah? <laughs> Welcome, Christmas. Bring your cheer. Cheer to all those far and near. Christmas Day is in our grasp, as long as we have hands to clasp. Christmas Day will always be just as long as we have waited. Welcome Christmas, while we stand, heart to heart and hand to hand.